Hey guys, I'm standing inside a 2023 Puma 28 BHFQ. Um, pretty amazing camper. It has a unique floor plan, but there's lots of room for you and your family. Um, as soon as you walk in, you take a right and actually you pass through the bathroom before getting to the master bedroom. Queen size bed, storage underneath. Um, there is zero carpet here in the master, so you can easily sweep up pet hair, things like that. End tables are on each side, and then you have raised up uh, additional nightstands or shelves too. Um, but with that being said, they even give you some cubby storage space so you can hide some snacks in there, your devices, anything that you want really. USB port and power outlet on this side, and then over here just has the power outlet. You still can charge your devices at night. Couple cabinets connecting in between your closet lockers with a built-in clothes rack. Mirror panel on the outside. And then you also have two windows here. They each open up uh, so you can get a nice little cross breeze going. Spot for a TV located in that corner. And then a barn style sliding door as your main entrance. Um, as soon as we exit, you are in the pass-through bathroom, so you can close off the main entrance in and use this space to get ready in the morning. Rounded out shower. There's lots of room to turn around in. And you have plenty of cabinet storage space for your towels and linens. Foot flush toilet. Sink. Storage down below. Open shelving. Even a uh, soap and toothbrush holder already installed and built in hook for your towels, and a medicine cabinet. Walking on out to the rest of the camper, as soon as you walk in for your main entrance is a closet storage space. You can kind of use it for whatever you want, pantry, coat closet, whatever. Uh, control paneling for everything is across the way, and then you even have a neat little wall decal that comes with your camper. But getting back to the rest of the coach, jackknife sofa for the living room, seating lounging area armrests are removable and the middle cushion folds down to cup holders um, this also folds out into a sleeping space for extra people more storage above and lots of windows in the slide out as well even a usb port to charge devices while you're sitting here also located in the slide out is a booth dinette space folds down to a sleeping spot um, cabinet storage space is underneath but honestly i love the gray uh, upholstery i think it looks great in here it's part of their 2023 new uh, interior design Gorgeous light pendant, and then across the way to the entertainment center, 31-inch all-electric fireplace, your speaker bar, TV, all stainless steel appliances, you got your fridge, pots and pan storage all down below, three-burner stovetop with a glass cover, your oven, range hood, microwave, more cabinets, cornered sink with a cutting board for a sink cover but you can also use it to chop up your vegetables um, spray faucet lots of additional storage down below and a few hooks too so you can hang your keys up your pets leashes things like that and then as soon as we walk in so to make sure there's no hidden storage back there there's a great spot for your kids to go. These are double over double bunks. Windows per bunk so they can get a nice view wherever you park your camper. Um, power outlets and USB ports are on each uh, bunk as well to charge devices. The top bunk is rated for 300 pounds. There is some extra storage underneath and closet storage space too. I love what they've done with the built-in ladder. Um, so you still have access to the cubby storage behind, but they have, if you can see it, built-in ladders kind of in front of it. I thought that was a really cool way of designing it. Walking outside real quick. All the way at the front, you have two huge 30-pound propane tanks with a protective uh, covering, power tongue jack. Of course, your battery goes just behind there. And then nice smooth front cap, aluminum siding, pass through storage space. You can fit, you know, bikes in here, outdoor rugs, chairs, tables, things like that. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks, a powered awning, outside speakers, oversized grab handle, solid steps. This also is an extended season camper with an outside kitchen that's still protected underneath your awning. Uh, mini fridge and a pull out stainless steel, I believe that's a griddle. 
So really nice. You can have breakfast in the morning, things like that. Bracket for a TV, fresh water connection is over here. LP Quick Connect access to your water heater as well. And this is storage underneath the uh, first bunk. So you can actually get to it from here on the outside or the inside. Another LP Quick Connect. Spare tire, outside shower, city water connection, rear ladder for maintenance purposes. And then you are prepped for a rear observation camera if you want one. Slide out on your non-camping side. And then there is where you dump your tanks. So any extra questions about the 28 BHFQ Puma, feel free to let us know.